I'm really curious in how our sense of self is constructed primarily through history, uh, lineage, and culture. My practice is very personal, but yet I try to speak to kind of universal questions that we're kind of collectively exploring in ourselves. I come from mixed cultural backgrounds, so I'm also Plains Cree and uh, British and Dutch. My kind of cultural heritage informs my, my practice. So my work is primarily photography based, um, but I bring in a lot of different um, media into the images, different materials that I find, I, I kind of collect. Bringing these different elements together, I hope to kind of layer the images with meaning. Yeah, I hope that the viewer kind of gets lost within the images and, and transported out of ordinary life and, and can get lost in their own thoughts. Now, kind of my more recent work, I'm interested in having the landscape also speak as kind of an equal subject within the image. So traveling to site-specific locations that hold meaning to not only, yeah, my personal kind of family, but also to Canadians as a whole. This new series that I'm doing, you know, has led me to meet new people and people within my reserve community of Red Pheasant and Poundmaker, which is a nearby reserve. And so I've just learned a lot about the way the, the land, you know, that my Cree ancestors, how they use the land. And it's kind of new to me and, and having the landscape kind of inform what I'm doing and, and, the, and the kind of ideas, I guess. Being outdoors is a large part of my life and that's where my mind can quiet and I can yeah just contemplate you know big life questions you know there's always this kind of childlike wonder I feel like that I've like carried throughout my life I was an only child and so there was lots of times to let your imagination run wild and create these worlds in your head I think I'm trying to pull on my own heartstrings when I'm taking my images like I'm trying to bring out those personal emotions that I feel when I'm just like on my own or with people bring out that soul within like the plants or the trees you know it's one of those things where I don't necessarily have answers to a lot of the questions which I'm exploring I'm kind of learning alongside people and I'm kind of posing questions I guess to make people think about their own history what brought them here or how is their impact affecting or has it affected other communities who have been here long before? Obviously my own personal history is complicated. You know, we have to be engaged and you have to learn, you know, as part of that act of reconciliation, I can help Canadians or you know, new immigrants to this country learn about our stories, I guess, and, you know, learn about the history before they were even here. And so those kind of underlying goals, I think, within the images as well.